Hey everybody, Hard Tacticon is back, bringing you the new Unique Toys Abominus Combiner Guy, Finrear, otherwise known as Sinner Twin, the guy with the two dragon heads upside down on his back! Rawr. Well, that was a weird one. Well, here we have Finrear. He is the, let's see, I believe he's going to be, yeah, he's going to be the foot of Odin. Unique Toys' take on Abominus. And uh, he's pretty cool looking. He's a nice solid yellow and green with little bits of red and some purple tail weapons right here. And he just kind of whip, 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 whip. Now, uh... About my last review with um, Toy World Snarl or Roar, um, I'm sure a lot of you noticed uh, kind of a lack of energy there. I didn't know it at the time of recording, but I was actually coming down with a terrible cold. And my God, it knocked me down for like three days solid. Couldn't even go to work. Then after that, it took me another three or four days to get over it, even still going to work and everything. But I'm over it now. I got my energy back. I've got the power back, and now I'm ready to review some more Transformers, especially some third-party Transformers. My God, I've got a lot of third-party Transformers to review. Woo! I mean, I've been collecting these and three different sets of Dinobots from Fans Projects, Planet X, and Toy World. And they're all great. These guys are great. Um, but just just so much to review and so little time and opportunity to do it But let's get back to Finrear here. He has got a foot that is just like his brother's foot troll blot And he's got these weapons right here and these are going to turn into his little curly tails when he's in um, dragon mode I, I guess that's a dragon some kind of reptilian like thing but yeah, um, he's got some, it's not quite teal green, but it's close. It's kind of a weird green, I think. And then the, the, this yellow, which has just a dash of orange in it. And to be honest with you, I would have liked a different shade of yellow, but this is what I got, and um, I'm making it work. Spin him around, and here's the back. And robot mode, he just kind of has his dragon heads just hanging out off his back. You know, I guess he can kind of turn around and be like, you should steal things. You should do it. No, you shouldn't do it. So he's kind of got like his inner voices. So yeah, and you can do that. You can... And actually, let's put his head up real quick. He can kind of have like a monster man mode. Let's see. Turn this around. Flip his head around. Turn this around. And flip his head around. He just doesn't have a lot of room to move and they can't look down far enough. But yeah, there's kind of a fan monster mode. I haven't really seen anybody do this on a review since... Mine are kind of late. <laughs> yep. A little late to the party, aren't we there? Alright. So. Um, for uh, his head sculpt is uh, really bland. I'm not really careful. No, I'm joking. There we go. Really easy to get his head out. Put it back into his chest, all that. His head is on a ball joint. It goes 360 and can look down a little, can look up a little, all kinds of different ways. His shoulders can go 360. His arms at the shoulders can go in and out. And they are on a double joint at the elbow. So you got all kinds of movement there. And uh, let's see, uh, no wrist articulation except for just a dash of up and down. I mean, I'm talking just a dash. And that's only for transformation. He has 360 degrees waist articulation. His legs can go out, back in, and then kick back and forth, and then just do all kinds of stuff. His knees 
you know, just kind of have a normal knee movement. And he's got some ankle tilt right here, like a lot. This is five years of cheerleading. Yeah. I don't think he would have been a cheerleader. Or maybe. You never know what these guys are kind of weird. Um, he looks pretty cool. Let's get his bros with him. Let you check him out with his bros. I'm kind of knocking my little background thing around, huh? So here is his buddy troll. Let's put him in the middle. And he is just like three hairs shorter than troll at the head. And then we got Albrick, who he is also about two or three at this head, hairs taller, excuse me, but at this head, which that don't really count, he is the tallest. So going by heads, first, second, and third tallest. So there you got those guys. Let's do some more quick comparisons real quick. I said quick twice, I'm silly. There's his master Galvatron. Also from Unique Toys. I almost lost this guy in a trade, but I kept him. I kept him. If I did lose this guy in a trade, I would probably actually break down and get the lighter purple vintage color version because it looks really, really cool. Okay, here is Combiner Wars Optimus, so you can get a standard Hasbro regular release figure comparison. And he's got the repro labels on him, and man, what a great repro label set. That Optimus is looking off to the, uh, that Optimus is looking awesome now because of repro labels. This one, I actually lost a sticker right here. I uh, later found it, my wife actually found it, on the back of my shirt somehow. I thought it fell between my legs. Stickers are weird with their flight plans. And of course, finally, here he is with my only other center twin. And if I accidentally call him Twin Strike, this guy was called Twin Strike, so that would be why. And I prefer this yellow for this character. And when they're right next to each other, you can see the difference. Actually, it's a much bigger difference than my camera is showing. This is kind of a darker yellow than the camera is showing. So, there are some comparisons. And let's get them transformed into foot mode. Leg mode, whatever. Alright, first of all, let's see. Let me remind myself how to do this. Okay. Let's start from the bottom up. Bring his feet in. His little heel spurs in. Which, sorry if I didn't mention those. But he does have heel spurs. Oh. And mine, his uh, feet are really tight. Then, let's see. Kind of just grab his little leg. This is going to be his um, dragon leg. And just kind of pull it out like this for right now. Um, go ahead and get his little dingleberry thing out. And these kind of... His legs transform similar to the Combiner Wars we've been getting from Hasbro. Just not as easy. There we go. Okay. But yeah, they unplug right here. You can see there's a peg right there. You can see where the peg hole is. And now we're going to kind of sink it into the leg until this black part of his dragon leg kind of fits into that slot because this is how we're going to lock we're going to put that peg right into that hole okay so we got that one done let's see if we can get this one done okay there we go and just like last time make sure it fits in there and plug it in doesn't really matter which direction these are. It's got to get it right. And, and well, I guess it does. Okay, so have it to where the claws are kind of facing the top. 
Okay. And from here, go ahead and put his foot in. The uh, his knees, the front of his knees, are going to be the front. So as usual, you put them into that slot right there, and we got that. And we've got to line up this peg and that hole, and that hole and this peg, and the other part of the foot with that hole, and also get his little dingleberry in the right place. Sorry, I keep on using dingleberry to describe that piece. If you don't like it, suggest another word, and I might go with it if it's fun enough. Because, I mean, really, this is what my view reviews are about. It's kind of having fun with toys. If you're not having fun with toys, I mean, what are you doing with them? Oh. Oh, oh well, that, we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that. And my... Okay, let me try it with... The other side. Sometimes I have trouble with this. Okay. And now we're going to try and line everything up properly. And there we go. And we're starting to get somewhere. And there we go. Now we're not done, of course. But um, we got the bottom half done. So, now let's see. How does the rest of this go? Go ahead and put his head back up. Just grab his head, pull it forward, fold it back in. Keep it straight. Close it. Now, to untab his arms first, we're going to have to take this plate. See, this is a different, separate piece. We're going to kind of grab it and pull it. And then we're going to kind of get it going down. And this little piece, this black piece that we're kind of accordioning down, is going to peg into that hole, I believe. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, it pegs into that hole. And these dragon heads for foot mode are actually just going to kind of hang down. Okay, and then we're going to unplug the arms like that. And let's see, we're going to move them down. So try and just get everything out of the way because this gets a little bit tight. All right, and you see now on this side, you see there's that peg hole right there where you see that peg right there in front of my nail that's where it's going to plug into and then from here just just do your very best at oh wait 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 let's put his hands up grab that piece bring it up and grab the claw and you see how his wrist is actually connected to his dragon claw so now we can put that back in so now it'll be a little bit easier. Let's see, I, I say it'll be a little bit easier. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Well, for now, we're just gonna put it like this, get it out of the way. We'll finesse with it. Yeah, I'm gonna use it like that, finesse with it in a minute. So just like the other side, Flip that up, grab that, his wrist and his dragon claw, flip it up. Okay, let's see, how did we do this? You know, I'm sure if you look in the instructions, there's an official way to do everything. And last time I did this, I had a way I liked it. I think I'm supposed to. Yeah, okay. This, this is how I like to do it. Kind of have the screw part facing outwards. And just kind of fold it down like that. No, that's not it. But I'm pretty sure the screw is supposed to be pointing outwards. That way you can kind of do it like that. Let's try it like this. There we go. I mean, really, the whole matter is just to kind of 
get the robot heads, I mean the robot arms and the dragon heads out of the way. Because once they're back there and once you've got this guy fully combined when all the pieces come out, sorry about sliding everywhere, um, it's not going to matter what he looks like back there. It does not. So, there we go. There's foot mode with the butt load of kill. Alright, so I'm having some difficulty with my camera. So, um, this is actually the second time I'm going to be recording this. Which also explains why the very last part was cut off a little. Now, it has also come to my attention that this isn't supposed to be here for leg mode. So, um like this back part isn't jumbled enough so I'm gonna do it the proper way the way the instructions tell you to and just we're gonna unplug these and just kind of stick them just stick them back there they don't plug in or anything they just they just sit back there so for the sake of properness or how they want you to do it there you go and from there let's say just Oh, goodness. Yeah, these are on ball joints, in case you missed that. There. Okay, so. Let's try and get this flattened back out. And I want to try and sit the heads on top of that. And then we'll just sit the arms on the very edges of the head. So, now the kibble's even bigger. But, there is leg mode. Now, articulation, he can do this. It doesn't seem like he's got quite as wide of a uh, left to right movement as Troll's foot mode did. Maybe this right here is blocking it a little bit more than it did with Troll. But um, yeah, there's leg mode. And just to give you another spin around, there's that. Fairly messy. But when it comes time to do my combiner, you know, depending on, I'm probably going to, which I have to do this anyways, put them in dragon mode. I'm probably going to have this. So, there you go. So, now, let's put them in dragon mode. Going to unplug this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go ahead and undo his arms, trying to straighten this kibble back out. Gonna fold him back out. Plug him back in, just like we had him in robot mode. Same thing with the other side. Unplug him, fold him out, plug him back in. Now we can grab this part and oh, move it back up. There's pegs right there. And that's where they plug into. There's also some pegs right here. Let's see. Yeah, you can see them. And they, they don't really plug in anywhere, but they fit right under that notch, right there. So let's do that. Okay, crunch. And now, we'll grab it and... Ow! Okay, I just removed a little bit of skin there. Man! These third-party toys, I mean, I really appreciate the way that, like, when they have teeth or horns or spikes and stuff but they actually give them a little bit of edge but man this stuff right here this stuff is sharp look at that can you see that a little bit of removed skin right there yep just did that on camera all for you guys because I love y'all so now we're gonna plug this back in and from here we want to spin him at the waist and then we're going to Put his dragon heads well put them like this that way that part is flush up against that and then you can spin their head rounds and now we'll take the arms straighten all those out so yeah that's right yeah Sure, don't look right. Is it supposed to be like that? Yeah, that works. 
I don't even know if it's supposed to be like that. We're doing this my way, people. My way. Not only that, but if you do it on the other side, the hand's exposed. Exposed. I can't talk. I guess I'm tired of doing this review over. So there we go. And now for his back legs. Let's put them down. Just unfold it and just kind of spins around. And again, this is to personal preference. Now, right here you see some pegs. Okay, you see that? And let's see if I can find it. Somewhere on the inner part of his leg, right there. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that notch. That notch is actually supposed to fit onto that peg to stabilize his legs because they're fairly loose, his back legs. But, man, that don't peg in at all. It don't, man. It's useless. See? Whoop, 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 whoop. So, what I recommend is this. And with my experience, that gives you the uh, most stable leg position. We'll do it with the other side, too. There we go. And then from here, it's all about just kind of straightening out his legs, straightening out his heads how you want them, moving the foot, and uh, hold on, and here's his tail pieces. From there, you just plug them in right back there. Now you can plug them in like this, or you can plug them in like this, or you can plug them in like this and make kind of like a heart shape. Aww. But I prefer the tail sticking up. Because normally when an animal has its tail sticking up and not down, it means it's happy. And I want my dragon to be happy. Happy dragon. So, here is Center Twins Dragon Mode. Monster Mode, some people call it. But to me, it looks like a dragon. So he's a dragon. So... Now for, um, he's got this back piece for his back part, and that's pretty cool looking. And his tails, his tails are kind of rubbery, but a good strong flexible rubber. I don't feel like I'm gonna say do this like a hundred five times and it's gonna break. It's just flop, 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 flop. It's cool. Okay, and I just kinda, oh no, it's coming back to shape already. I was about to have to say that, oh no, I was wrong, don't do that. But it's okay, do that if you want. It's your toy, do what you want with it. Let your dog play with it if you want. Don't let your dog play with it, there's lots of sharp parts, see? I kinda, kinda bled. Sorry for the gore. But if you're a fan of the Terracons, chances are you'd like a little bit of gore. So. For articulation, his mouth opens, both mouths. He's got a ball joint right here at the head, a ball joint in the middle of the neck, and a like a up and down joint connected to a ball joint right here. So he's got a lot of neck movement. Like he's got as much neck movement as Columpio, but times two. You know, none of his legs are really that sturdy. Um, he's got the same articulation from robot mode for his leg mode, except he's also got this, which is on a ball joint. So you can do all kinds of fun stuff with that. His back legs, they move on a rotational joint right here. And then there's a rotational joint right here, where that pin is. A rotational joint right there. And a rotational joint at his foot and of course he's got his waist swivel so you could do I don't know maybe he's got a pee or something <laughs> yeah that didn't work too well did it let's try and fix that okay now I can go he's probably peeing on an Autobot I bet they would do that like beat up Autobots and then pee pee on them probably they're terracons. They're supposed to be terrifying and disgusting as part of terrifying sometimes. 
but yeah, great dragon mode. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't like how long his torso was, but I work with it. I think it's cool. I mean, my main complaint about this figure, there's a little black right there, I'm going to stop with that, is uh, the looseness of his legs and dragon. And up until I get all the rest of the guys, which I'll pull out, the ones I have so far I'll pull out, up until I get the entire team, they're mostly going to be in dragon mode or monster mode, whatever they are. So, for comparison, first of all, let's get his little buddy, Center Twin, also known as Twin Strike in the Prime continuity, because this is the Prime version of Center Twin. Apparently in Prime, Shockwave did not feed them enough when they were growing. They don't like him. Alright, so there's Center Twin, or Twin Strike. And here we have, let's get him with his brothers, um, somehow. Here we have Ripper Snapper, or Alberic, depending on what name you're going to use. I'm guessing most people are going to be using the actual transformer names and here is blot aka troll so now you kind of got a good view of how they all look together Maybe doing like that there we go switch it up now I mean, this is kind of a long guy you think ripper snappers long this guy's even longer let me show you real quick Excuse me, blocked. See, from head to tail, he's actually a little longer. So they are, there they are together. They are, they are, they are. And uh, let's see, who else do I got? I got for just kind of one that is easy access to get and probably a lot of people have. Here's Steel Jaw from AOE. Get a sense of how big he is with a uh, common retail figure. And I think that's good for comparisons. So, there he is. Alberic, a.k.a. Twin Strike. Uh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Center Twin. I'm sorry. It happens, okay, it happens. So, uh, he's a really great looking bot. I'm happy to have them in my collection. Uh, if you're a fan of the, you know, the weird off Transformers that came out during the later seasons of the original cartoon, like these guys and others, then the, the Monster Bots, man, when are we going to get some third-party Monster Bots? I'll be epic. But either way, if you're a fan of that type of stuff and, and you got the money, grab this guy. I mean, really grab him. Combiner Wars, you know, they said that they're going to be doing Combiner Wars for at least another year from now, as of this recording, but it seems like they're just going to be taking like a good dozen molds and recycling the heck out of them, which I'm fine with. They've been doing a great job of retooling and remolding and repainting and new head sculpts and new weapons and all that, that... You know, one figure looks completely different from the next. But it's going to be really hard to take, say, a, a truck or a jet and make it look like this guy. Now, maybe if they're going to 
reimagine the Predic the Predacons and the Terracons as vehicles, which some people would probably hate, but I wouldn't. I actually would not hate to see maybe like a, I don't know, for this guy, it'd be cool to see like a, a, a double-headed jet or something, or, you know, something that kind of gives an homage to his two-headedness. You know, Block could be some kind of truck. Of course, um, Cutthroat could be a jet. Ripper Snapper, wherever I put him, um, could make a great boat. We don't have any boats, and they probably want mold of boats. So never mind, never mind. Never mind. But either way, very cool. I recommend them if you can afford them. Um, I think they're still he's still in toy stores, as in Big Bad Toy Store, TSaurus, whichever place you like to go best. Those are the two I like best. Um, check him out. Watch some other reviews if you want. And uh, pick him up. He's a lot of fun. So, until next time, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> How's that for an outro?